out guys in the blue over here and kind of nice over here but as you move along oh boy check it out behind us crap i have my uh waterproof jumper on it's gonna be uh pretty cold morning it's about 6 a.m but let's get straight into it look at these shell piles here guys i've never seen this much wow that is cool so this is shell grit but there's a ton and a ton of micro shells in there i'm not too into micro shells to be honest but let's go. all right first one of the day i'm pretty sure this is a cat cowrie i found a couple here actually and this one's really calcified comment down below guys make sure it is a cat cowrie for me i'm not quite sure my best guess i want to find a nice urchin again today first That's keeper of the day looks all right yeah, not bad, freshy. Cool. Guys, check this out. We have a spindle here. So this is a Nicobar spindle. I'm pretty positive. Is it going to be whole? It pretty much is whole. It is missing the tip a little bit. And it is actually pretty beaten up. But to me, that is fine. Because I have actually only found five or so of these. And unfortunately, every single one, apart from one, has had the break there. Not sure why. But that's okay, that is a nice find of the morning so far. Good way to get started in the first 10 minutes, that's for sure. Let's keep looking. We have a bit of a different shell down here. Looks okay. See, this is different. Oh, dang. Maybe you guys like this. I don't, personally, I don't really like this shell, but we don't really get many different scallops like this, so we'll throw it into the giveaways. Nice. You guys may, well you guys know that I don't really take starfish or anything or crabs or anything like that, but I thought this fella was an interesting color. Wow, check out those colors. Wow, purple as well. That's cool. Let's get a photo of him. Poor guy's dead. It's a shame. interesting well rip to uh, buddy here he's got no eyes there you go surprisingly this is gonna be our first eroded cowrie or erosa for the day looks good too nice actually that's really nice <laughs> so if you guys know the scientific name for this I'm gonna give you a challenge comment it down below or look on the internet or if you really want to get into shelling and like learning the names of these shells that you find, I think the best book that you can ever purchase for this would be uh, the Encyclopedia of Shells. That's my favorite one. So there's a little recommendation for you guys if you're new to shelling and you want to get into it seriously and get into the names of them all. So let's hit up here. Found a Hebrew cone in it's about 10 minutes. I don't know if this one's live. Ah, uh, it is empty. I thought it might have been empty because it's wide on the top. That's probably one of the easiest ways to tell. Nice. We've got live two topper shells there. <laughs> uh, shelling in the rain at 6 a.m. in the morning. Can't get much better than that. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Just pulled up a big Hebrew. It's all right, shape. Guys, I'm telling you, they're literally everywhere here. Let me know if you guys are getting sick of them and I'll stop filming them. Wondering what sort of cowrie this is. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's just a normal uh, red cowrie. Oh no, it's one of those green dotted things. Not sure what it's called, but it's really eroded. It's actually quite big as well. So we'll take it for the giveaways. Hebrew cone number 733. Nice. Probably the best one so far. Oh, guys look at that oh that looks beauty alrighty comment down below if you think this is whole oh my goodness this is a lynx plea oh whoa wow guys that is absolutely jam oh my goodness I haven't found a lynx in a while that is a beauty look at those uh, lines on the bottom I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro, but stay to the end of the video to 
see a close-up shot of this lynx cowrie. Wow, that is going straight into the top finds cabinet section. Wow, awesome. I haven't found a lynx in so long. It's about an inch long. That is awesome. Guys, I am stoked on this. Stark to remember. <laughs> awesome. Bloody nice, mate. Can't get much better than that. I gotta take care of this one. Awesome. Empty, of course. Sick. Continue watching, guys. This is just getting started. I have another one of those black cones down here that I saw while picking up a rock. It's really old. Oh, it's actually live. Wow. i never seen a live one of those. <laughs> cool, I guess. Let's see if any of these will open up. Anything down here? Oh, holy moly. That's a giant brittle star. Whoa. That's freaking massive. Look at that. That is awesome, you guys. Wow. A brittle star. I've only seen ones like an inch long careful buddy wow that is so cool we'll even be holy that's awesome got one of those black cones down here it's not quite a hebrew wow this one is nice check out that lip beauty color beauty the whole shell is about a nine out of ten sweet i don't find much of these either there's a shell on. this is disappointing to see oh my goodness that would have been a very nice hairy triton but you can't win them all it is nice to see what's inside of it oh well come back when you're whole again all right this is really shelling in the rain it's getting pretty bad right now uh that brittle shell was awesome i've only a uh, brittle star i've only ever seen ones like this big really tiny nothing even half of that size so that was really cool i hope you guys did enjoy that it's about what, 30 meters, 20 meters from the shoreline, we have a lonesome blue cowrie sitting all the way up the front of the sand. Well, that's unique to see. <laughs> Look at this big guy. How you doing, mate? Say hi. Crazy cool. Oh, see ya. Hoping this is a live version of that crab we found earlier. Nope, he's gone too. Wow, very soft. <sighs> no eyes again, that's so strange. Well, again, rest in pieces. Buddy. So as you guys might be able to see, um, the raindrops are making the water really blurry and there's pretty much no point in me staying out here now. Especially that I'm almost done. Why did that rock just lift up? But yeah, I'm probably just gonna head out now and we'll see what we found. We'll take a better look at them when I get home. So let's teleport home. Check this out. Just shells on shells on shells. Micro. Let's see how deep down it goes. Holy cow. <laughs> Still going. Look at these cones. One, two, three. I'm not even gonna take any of them. Goes about half a foot. Right. So here's everything we got this morning. Not too much. We did get a spindle, but it's really, really munted. Got the lynx cowrie. Check out those serrations on the back. Really nice. Tiny bit of uh, calcification, but that's okay. Nice erosa. 